Alright, what's up guys? Welcome to your 117th Android tutorial for the new Boston. And what we're going to learn today is how to actually write the data to a database. And for a brief moment, I want you guys to reminisce about when we uh, worked with bundles. Um, again, we like put some stuff in, into the bundle and then we finally sent it off to the next next activity for it to be opened. Um, but, you know, we kind of put some stuff in there and then we finalized it. And that's kind of the same way that the database works, uh, SQLite database works. We basically need to set up instead of a bundle something called the content values and then we put some stuff in there and then we just kind of finalize it or insert it into our actual database. So that's what we're going to do in this tutorial and we're just going to set up this create entry method. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to set up a content values. So we're going to say content values and this is kind of like our bundle, like I was just talking about. And we got to import that. We're just going to call this CV for content values. And then we're going to set this equal to new content values. So just to get everything kind of initialized there. And now what we need to do is we need to put some information in. So as you can see, we're getting passed in two strings from our previous class. Again, the first was the hot or the name, and the second was hotness. So what we need to do is we need to say our CV, and we're going to put some stuff in there. We're going to say put, and then uh, as you can see, it takes two parameters: um, first the key, and then the value. Just kind of like our bundle again. So first for a key, we want to reference basically where we want to save it in our database. So for the first one, we want to uh, refer, refer to our key name. Again, that's the, the name column of our database. And for the value, we want to have it uh, the value of what's being passed in, our string here. So we're going to say name. Because um, again, uh, the key name is the text type, as you can see here and we're getting passed in a string so we're going to basically put the string in that column and then we're also going to say cv.put uh, and we're also going to refer to our key hotness and again refer to the string that's being passed in for our hotness there we go we both we have both of our put methods and now we just need to insert it into our database so again this method is being called after our create method or our open method I'm sorry um, so basically we have our helper and then our database is basically um, accessed and we're, we're going to be able to write to it. So all we have to refer to is our database here. So we're going to say uh, database, we're going to say our database dot insert. And as you can see it takes three values for its parameters. The first is what table we want to write to. Again, we have our table name um, up here that we defined earlier. So we're going to refer to that. Uh, we're going to refer to that. So we're going to say database uh, underscore table. Oops. Um, again, our value that we set up earlier. And that's the table we're writing to. And then uh, for the second parameter, we're just going to say null. And for the last parameter, we're going to put our our content uh, value so we're just going to say CV here and that's basically going to insert all of our puts that we set up there into our actual table that we want to refer to um, so again you just have to make sure that this table has been set up uh, that has these columns within it otherwise it's going to crash but again right here in our onCreate method we have our table name that we set up and we have both of our key our name and our oops, our hotness set up. And when this method's called, basically we want it to return uh, this statement here when we actually write to our value or write to our database. So instead of saying void, uh, which means it's not going to return anything, we're going to change this to long, which is just again a type of variable and it's giving us the error because we aren't returning anything. So we're actually going to return this statement here. All right, and that's it for this tutorial, guys. Um, we kind of learned about how to write to a database, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. So have a good one.